Steven from Fricelli and today we're gonna make a whole chicken inside a large Dutch oven with some vegetables in there. This is a super versatile dish because you can make it a really, really impressive presentation for a dinner party or just make economical meals for yourself that'll last the whole week. It's so easy to make. With that, let's go ahead and get cooking. First step is super simple. We're just gonna pat the chicken dry with a paper towel. You're going to very generously coat the chicken with salt and pepper. It may seem like a lot, but keep in mind this is a whole bird, so there's a lot of meat inside there, and you need a lot of seasoning for it to carry through. We're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes while we prep the rest and let the salt and pepper get into the chicken there. layer of canola oil to the Dutch oven and throw in a nice stick of butter and melt that down. When it's nice and hot, go ahead and toss chicken in. Flipped over here to a nice golden brown on the outside of the chicken. That's going to make the skin nice and crispy. Flipped it over and do it to the other side as well. It's going to take about five to ten minutes each side. And then also, if you can, just tilt it on its side a little bit just so you get some crispiness on the legs and side of the chicken as well. Once the chicken is cool enough to handle, we're gonna go ahead and stuff it. So I like to shove a whole lemon in there. And if it doesn't fit, you could obviously cut the lemons into quarters and put the pieces in like that. I'm also gonna add some fresh thyme and some fresh rosemary and a couple cloves of fresh garlic. Tying of the legs will keep everything inside, but also will help the chicken cook evenly. The hard part's over. Now we just need to throw in the vegetables around the chicken. No exact rhyme or reason to it. I like the chicken nice and lemony, so I'm going to add a few lemon wedges around it as well. Chicken's already well salted. Just going to add a little salt around the vegetables. Same with black pepper. No need to chop up the garlic, we're just gonna throw that in whole as well. There she is, all cooked up, looking really, really good. Meats are like already starting to fall almost off the bone. That's because we cooked it very low and very slow. So it's almost like a braising technique that we used and the meat's gonna be incredibly, incredibly tender. Since we cooked this low and slow, we should need nothing more than a butter knife to cut this off. Yep, look at that, right off. Well, this is sticking, oh my God, look at that meat. Look how tender it is. How easily it all falls apart. Wow. Turn over, same test. Yep, all you need is a butter knife, folks. As always, we top things off with a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. All right, phew. I'm sweating a little, not because this dish was hard to make, but it was really hot when I opened the Dutch oven and all the steam coming out of the chicken. But here we go, the moment of the truth. We're gonna try a nice piece of the chicken breast. Mmm, mmm. So when you cook it this way, it kind of falls apart a little bit when you take it out, but it's also so, so tender. And that's because we cooked it with the lid on with the Dutch oven. It kind of steams it, kind of roasts it. It's a little bit of a combination of braising and roasting and steaming. The result is absolutely delicious. The flavor is really great. Let me try a piece of the vegetable. Mmm, really, really good. Mm. Definitely great with the lemon, the rosemary, the thyme, and then also just the juices of the chicken the garlic and all that mixing together it just makes such a beautiful, beautiful, comprehensive dish. Everything just works so nicely together. If you like the video, 
please first hit a thumbs up like on YouTube. That would help us out a lot. Likewise, if you subscribe, that would absolutely make my day. Please subscribe to the channel, our new channel. And also, please, please, please make the dish. It's really easy, it's really delicious, and put in the comments on how it came out. And until next time, keep cooking. See you guys soon.